So you've got an image that you like the look of, but want to use it without getting done for copyright? Shall I show you how to recreate a copy for free using Leonardo.ai? Right, now look at this magic. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm really there. Welcome back to the channel. I've spent 20 years building, launching, and growing some of the largest platforms in their sectors. I'm obsessed with using AI tools to speed up all of this work. Here, we show you how. Leonardo AI is a popular tool for creating amazing images and art in minutes. It's fast, it's easy to use, and it's very customizable, producing high quality professional visuals with just a few clicks. Now there is a free tier where you get 150 daily credits, but prompts cost about 20 credits each roughly, so they do run out quickly. We'll show you in a bit how to extend this. In terms of the setup, this bit's a little bit boring, but it's really important. The preset option makes the biggest difference on the output. There's a bunch of presets that you can select from. We're going to go with Cinematic Kino for this image. If you want a widescreen style image, then select 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So YouTube video 16 by 9, for example, whereas a TikTok video will be 9 by 16. Use the photo reel setting if you don't want the photos to be looking too fake. Pause the video to check out all my settings if you're interested. You can edit to your own tastes. Now what we're going to do is upload a source image. So we select the image that we want to use the base of our image around. If you want to create an image from scratch using prompts, then download the free ebook in the description below, which contains a prompt to create something like this. Now these settings are important for retaining the style of our source image so that it looks very similar. The style references aesthetics from the image, such as cinematic versus an anime style, for example. Content reference uses the shape and structure for an image to influence the output, such as out in the world versus in an office. So we select content reference, upload an image. So we've now got uh, myself sat on a beach. Select the icon again, the image icon again to select the style reference. So let's select that again and then we'll change the prompt. So I would like the man to be wearing yellow shorts and drinking a green cocktail. And that's just cost us 20 credits. Let's take a look at that image. Pretty good. With the free version of Leonardo, you only get 150 credits a day so you've got to be really careful with how you use your credits we've just spent 40 to 60 credits let me show you another trick for making those credits go as far as possible we're going to head over to bing.com bing allows us to create images using chat gpt the dolly model so we go to bing.com select images select create and in here we can we can type a prompt so i've got this prompt here which is asking for an ultra realistic cinema shot of an explorer if you want to create an image from scratch using prompts then download the free ebook in the description below which contains a prompt to create something like this now how about we compare the results we get from bing to chat gpt itself we're going to enter our same prompt again see what results we get i was playing around with this earlier so you might have seen some of those shots in leonardo now that's much better i think than the bing version let's download that let's upload this into leonardo as our style reference and we'll also select a content reference same image because i really like that style we'll upload a character reference and we'll request the generate now this does cost another 22 credits that's maybe a bit better <laughs> right let's show you the next trick so what we're going to do is use chat gpt to generate us a prompt for for the image we're going to download the image that we like which is this one we're then going to head over to chat gpt we're going to enter our image and then we're going to use the following prompt analyze the image and create me an image prompt that i can feed into an ai generator that's similar to this image let's take this prompt back to leonardo and give this a whirl without any references wow these results are so much more realistic look at that now what if we wanted to be in this scene and not just some random ai generated face i'm going to show you a trick so we're going to ask ChatGPT to analyze the image again just like before but i'm going to get it to add the trigger word connect free now connect free is actually linked to a likeness of myself right now look at this magic Oh my gosh, that is literally identical. That is incredible. If you want to learn how to do this for yourself, then let us know in the comments. 
If you're loving AI tools, then download our ebook in the description, which shares a bunch of techniques and prompts for ChatGPT, for creating content, images, and even gathering leads for your business. If you love this video, you're gonna love this one. Go on, watch it.